for this morning's edition of The Breakfast Show. Where we take a look at quite an interesting topic. Indeed, uh, people often joke about women being from Venus and men from Mars, but maybe the joke is based on something scientific and the fact that men and women do indeed and in fact think differently. Joining us this morning in the studio to tell us more about this phenomenon is our guest, Amal Hagezi, a human resources writer. Very good morning to you, ma'am. Thank you very much for coming. Good morning. So could you tell us a bit about the concrete differences in the way that men and women's brain work? Yeah. Is there really a difference? Yeah, there is a huge difference actually. The, but uh, uh, first I'd like to introduce to you to the uh, author of this uh, uh, subject. He, he, I've been watching uh, uh, an expert, his name is Mark uh, Gunger. He's uh, one of the most uh, um, uh, sought after speakers uh, on marriage and relationships in America. Uh, he has uh, many se seminars uh, which are uh, widely watched in, uh, by couples and uh, people who seek for, for a better marriage. Uh, 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 one of his effective and uh, most powerful seminars was the one which is called The Tale of Two Brains. He talked uh, about uh, the differences between man's brain and woman's brain. Uh, the structure itself is different. He, he said that uh, the man's brain consists of um, too many little boxes. Uh, he has a box for everything. These, the, rule, the most important rule about these boxes is that they are not connected. Uh, so when he thinks he has books for a house, uh, for the work, for the money, so when uh, he thinks of something, he just in, uh, get to this box, particular box, and think of nothing else but this box. Uh, unlike a uh, woman's brain, actually it's like um, a, a set of wires. It's, uh, it's all, everything is connected to everything. That explains why she uh, all, always think of uh, many things uh, at the same time. You must have noticed, uh, for example, a mother, while uh, she's at work, she, she, uh, you might see her thinking of uh, the kids, the maid, the, the house, uh, what uh, she wants to cook today. She, that uh, her brain, uh, that does what, uh, what is it like that her brain works actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we can say that uh, uh, this is actually a very tiring and exhausting thing for a woman, but she can't help it. And uh, actually there's an, uh, an interesting box in men's brain which is called the nothing box. Actually this box uh, from its name it's uh, for nothing. He just get, this is his favorite by the way, he <laughs> just get into this box to relax. Mm -hmm. And uh, that actually drives his uh, wife crazy to see him doing nothing and think And of, of course it. women don't have that. No, they wish to have that mm -hmm. actually, but they don't have it. And uh, uh, that actually explains also the but uh, sometimes uh, men tend to do some uh, um, um, completely brainless things, <laughs> just like fishing. Uh, mm. I, I think you haven't seen any woman who likes to go fishing. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is an activity for men. They, they will just tell you that they enjoy going fishing, but actually they just uh, love sitting there for, for hours uh, doing nothing. And um, for example, there's another example also that say um, you can see a man or uh, uh, your husband, your uh, brother, uh, in front of the of, of the TV uh, with the, the remote control in his hand, f switching mm -hmm. the channels, but uh, watching s not nothing. nothing. This is uh, his favorite uh, books, <laughs> actually. <laughs> let me ask you, Ahmed. The, this, to a certain extent, these are a lot of metaphors, really. But let me ask mm -hmm. scientifically: Is there really a physical difference yes. when it comes to the structure of a man's brain yes. and a woman's brain? Yes, this, this, um, I was talking about the structure actually and mm. the, uh, they, that makes them deal with things differently mm -hmm. in, in, in all fields in life and right. uh, actually uh, the woman is driven by her, her emotions more than the man does actually. So is it really true that women are more emotionally yes. driven? Do they take decisions based more on emotion? Yes, every, every event uh, ha happens in in, in, in life, uh, she, it's, it's driven there by energy, which is called emotion, and it's saved there for, uh, for good in her memory, because it's, um, uh, this is what, the way she thinks, and um, uh, I think uh, also that uh, explains why she never forgets things. Uh, men tend to do this, but uh, actually not really like women do. Mm -hmm. 
Very interesting. I'm afraid we've run out of time, but let me thank you very much, Kamal Hayezi, Human Resources Writer. Thank you very much thank for you. joining us on this morning's thank edition so of The Breakfast Show. Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, we've come to the end of this morning's edition of The Breakfast Show. Many thanks for joining us and have a very good morning.